welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is lesson number 10. We're going to talk about uh, triggering tasks based on Wi-Fi um, and also talk some more about exit task for profiles, which we talked about before, but in case you skipped a lesson, that's going to be in this lesson too. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to create a, uh, a certain settings that uh, trigger when we arrive at work based on connecting to our work Wi-Fi and uh, uh, another set of settings that change or trigger when we leave work and disconnect from the same Wi-Fi. So uh, this time we're going to start uh, with task. In the last lesson I showed you how you could create a profile and if you hadn't yet created the task you could just do it as you're creating the profile. But this time we're going to start with the task. So let's create uh, I'm going to call this one at work. And we're going to create settings. Now, of course, there might be other settings and things you would want to do based on your situation at work. I'm just going to uh, uh, create a random set here just to kind of show you um, how it works and that it works and, and that sort of thing. So first, I'm going to go to audio. And I'm going to, let's see, let's go to dun, 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 silent mode. And we're going to go vibrate. So when I'm at work, I want it to switch into vibrate mode. Secondly, we're going to go into audio again. And... I'm going to go to media volume. Some people don't realize it, but when your phone turns into vibrate mode, that only really affects the uh, volume levels for uh, uh, phone calls and notifications. It doesn't change the volume level of media or alarm. Unless you have an app like True Silent, which is an app I created on Tasker that's on the Play Store now, which automatically does this for you anytime you want to vibrate mode. But we're going to assume you don't have that. So we're going to say that we want to take media volume down to level 3. So it's a little volume, but very low. We're going to add another one. We're going to go to... Uh, if I can find alarm volume. Oh, probably because alarm volume. There it is. Because it's right there in front of my face, and God forbid I see something that's right in front of my face. So we're turning alarm volume to one. You know, maybe you set up an alarm you forgot to set up, and it goes off. You're at work. You don't want it to, you know, wake up everybody. So we're going to turn it to volume one. So you'd still hear it, but it would be really, really low, and hopefully not disturb anybody. Um, if there's anything else you wanted to do while you're at work, you could. Uh, let's see if I can think of anything. Um... Anything else that I want to do at work. I work from home right now, so it's hard for me to think that way. But right now, we'll just leave that. That'll demonstrate that it works. Of course, you could add different. If there's different things you want to do, you could add it. But that'll, that'll do it for now. And now we're going to add another one. That was at work. We're going to go 101. So this is going to be a new task. This is going to be for when you... Leave. Leave work. So when you leave work, you want to turn silent mode off. And you want to turn your media volume back up. You want to turn your alarm volume back up. And uh, just for fun, let's do another sort of cool thing you could do. We're going to choose phone. We're going to choose uh, send SMS. We're going to put a number in here. Uh, 
This is a made up number. Obviously you would put uh, the number of the person you actually wanted to send a text message to and if you hit the magnifying glass slash search button then that would allow you to uh, look through your contacts and pick one. And let's see, leaving work, be home soon. So leave work, be home soon. And then you could put another one in here. That's probably enough for now. Um, but so this task, when you leave work, it turns silent mode off, it turns your media volume up, it turns your alarm volume up, and it sends a text message to a number you chose, probably your spouse, letting them know that you're leaving work and you'll be home soon. And that'll all happen automatically if it's triggered. So now we have to figure out, well, how do we want to trigger that? We're going to profiles. We're going to base this trigger on a Wi-Fi connection. So this is going to assume that you have Wi-Fi at work and that when you get to work your phone connects to the Wi-Fi. So let's add, create that profile by clicking the plus button. Go one, oh, one, and we'll say work Wi-Fi. And so now we're going to choose is either going to be under event or state. Sometimes it's hard to remember what things are under. Uh, so let's go state and then uh, if that's wrong we'll backtrack. So we're going to go state. We're going to choose net because Wi-Fi is under net. And here we go. Wi-Fi connected. So we're going to choose Wi-Fi connected. Uh, now if you, leave, if you leave this blank then that would be any Wi-Fi. So anytime you connect to Wi-Fi anywhere, it would trigger. We only want it to trigger when it connects to a specific Wi-Fi. So we're going to click our little search magnifying glass over there. And you'll see it pulls up all the Wi-Fi connections you have, or that it are within range, that you could choose from. So we're going to choose, I'm going to choose a random one that's probably one of my neighbors that I don't actually connect to and that way this won't randomly be triggering so let's choose I'll well, choose this one down here and you see you could also use the the uh, MAC address if you click the button you pretty much get the same thing but it would be based on the MAC address so we're going to use the Wi-Fi that is named GTDFF probably like I said one of my neighbors so this is when it connects to this, as soon as it connects to this, these things are going to be true. And we're going to click done. And then it asks for the uh, task that we want. If we hadn't created one yet, we could just go up here and click new task. But we did create it, so we're going to go 101 at work, which is right here. Let's select that. I keep not pressing these enough and it not, keeps not triggering. There we go. So right now you see when it's connected, when the Wi-Fi is connected to that particular Wi-Fi, it's going to trigger at work settings. So what about when you leave work? I'm going to do that. We're going to long press on uh, the uh, task and we're going to choose add an exit task. The exit task is going to be the one that's already highlighted or pointed out for us because of the fact that it's the last one we created which is 101 leave work. So I'm going to click that 101 leave work. So you can see what's going to happen we get to work our phone connects to our Wi-Fi when that happens it's going to trigger that task which is going to put it into vibrate put our phone into vibrate mode lower our media volume and lower the alarm volume and then whenever your phone disconnects from this Wi-Fi it's going to uh, trigger the exit task. So anytime your phone, your phone, you leave work. So even if you're just going to lunch, it's going to trigger this. So click that, and uh, 
it's going to turn off silent mode, it's going to turn the media volume back up, it's going to turn the alarm volume back up, and it's going to send a text message saying I'm on my way. So obviously you might not, uh, uh, probably a misappropriate way to use this because every time you leave work to go to lunch, it's also going to send that text message. It's going to do it anytime you disconnect from that Wi-Fi. Uh, you could add uh, other context to, 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 to this to... Uh, make sure it only happened in the evening, um, but I'm going to save that for a future lesson probably. The next lesson I'll show you how to do that, but just keep in mind the way this is set up, it would trigger any time you disconnect from the Wi-Fi, so it would be sending that text message, and that's probably something you only want to happen at the end of the day when you disconnect from the Wi-Fi. Uh, but that's just, just wanted to show you that you can do that with Wi-Fi, uh, you do that at home, that... Uh, uh, when you uh, uh, c come home and you connect to your home Wi-Fi network, you could have certain things trigger, and it could be you know anything you want, obviously. Um, and you can also have it set up so that when you disconnect, it uh, triggers something as well. So that's that, and uh, that's it for this lesson. Uh, please click the like button if you like this lesson. Uh, subscribe to my channel or favorite the playlist to keep up with future lessons. You can check out a bunch of Android app reviews that I have on my channel uh, with apps that I think are really cool. And uh, share this with anyone you know who might be interested. And that's about it until next time. So have fun with Tasker.